So in today's live, I'm gonna be drawing the iconic character, my main man, Knuckles, from Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm gonna be drawing him with Pasca markers. So with that being said, I'm gonna get started. And I'm gonna jump into this with none other. Start off with red. That makes the most sense. All right. By the way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. And with that being said, I'm gonna get right into it. Start off with the good old red. So for the first step here, we're just gonna literally color his entire body first before we do anything. You know, how these, you know how these markers go. You gotta give it a good old shake before you do anything. In fact, you know what I might do? I might actually switch to a bigger marker. Oh. You know who has a brand new red marker? I do. Shout out to everybody dropping hearts. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. As you can see, brand new out the package. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this red flowing. Tap it down a few times. Give it a few shakes. Let's see where we're at. See where we're at. See, as you can see, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. You know what? Let me press down one, two, three more times. Give it a few more shakes. So that's the only way to get this red flowing. And as you can see, it's almost there. Man, it's, man, it's making you work for it. And let's see. It might work a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Had to pull out a brand new red. And the color is looking really good, actually. Very, very, very smooth. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is, yo, Mattis, what's going on? J Jaden, what is going on? Thanks for joining. Um, draw Minecraft Zombie. Hey, you never know. It might happen maybe in the next live. Shout out to everybody who's here. If you guys have ideas for some drawings for the next live, make sure you drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments if you got some ideas what I should draw next. And we're gonna go ahead, lightly color in the body. Um, so we're drawing knuckles. Yes, yep, one. Well, I'm drawing knuckles. If you wanna draw knuckles, I'm cool with that too. So I saw the Sonic trailer the other day. I was like, you know what? Let me go back. I haven't done Knuckles in a long time. Let me 
Let me go ahead and see if I could uh, do a design for my man Knuckles real quick. And as you can see, it's very much Knuckles, but I decided to do it in my own style. Made him, made him a little buff, you know. Have him, have him with, poking his chest out. So you can let everybody know he's about that life. Chalky, thank you so much, says super vibrant. Um, Reno says paint that like button. Hey, see if Reno remembers. It... Shout out to Reno, by the way. He does raise a good point. If you haven't yet, please make sure you go ahead and you paint that subscribe button. It would definitely mean the world to me and this channel that we're slowly building, the main overarching goal is to hit a million but first before we do that before we even get close to that we got to hit 300k that's where we're that is the milestone that we are knocking that's the milestone door that we are knocking on so if you guys can help to make that happen it would definitely mean the world to me uh, that sketch looks so amazing thank you so much it's actually the second to third time i drew this so Happy how it came out. So right here's the easy, well, I won't say the easy part. Right here's the fun part. And when I'm painting with these Posca markers, I try to paint as light as possible. So everything looks as smooth as possible. Um, Cola says, draw Garfield with Chris Pratt's face. That would be hilarious, actually. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. Um, Jacob says, like I painted it. I must be missing something. Uh, that is very true, Reno. If, pa if Apollo is here, he'll be helping you to hold down the fort. So we appreciate it. Santiago says, what's up? What's going on, Santiago? How are you doing? And on a side note, for the people that are here, first of all, thank you guys so much. But if you could do me a huge favor, if you can go, give this video a thumbs up. All you gotta do is go to the right-hand corner, hit those three dots, and then you will see the like button. You go ahead and hit that, and I promise you, more people will come into the live, which would be amazing. Today's goal is to see, can we get 100 likes? Can we get 100 likes? I think we could do it. I think we can make that happen. Why you no draw red? That's hilarious. Um, draw all the BFDI characters. I don't know who those who, who are those characters. Is that a video game? Is that a movie? Is that like a YouTube thing? But hey, feel free to explain. How are we looking so far? So far? So far not too shabby. So far not too shabby. So we're gonna go ahead. to color his hair which I think resembles almost which I think resembles twists or dreads so I'm a fan um, day two of asking for Minecraft Steve a hey. well first off thanks for coming back Hey, you never know what I might draw next, so keep suggestion. Thank you, Juan. Juan says, looking good so far. Happy to hear that. We're just getting started. After this. After this, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll draw his face. Or the bottom of his face, I guess you'd say.
But as I'm drawing Sonic, what is everybody's favorite Sonic character? I'm a fan of Knuckles. I like Knuckles, I like Tails. Super Sonic's pretty dope. Which looks almost like Super Saiyan Sonic, but you know. I'm not sure who came first. I'm gonna assume Dragon Ball Z came before Sonic. But I could be wrong. Feel free to feel free to check me if I'm wrong. Um, Cola Art says you should draw the guy from Fortnite. I wonder who that is. Um, how about paint that paint that like button? Says Reno. That's very true. Make sure you paint that subscribe button. So this is actually going pretty quickly. You know what, I have a, a bigger marker. I'm gonna see if, let's see. Let's see, this could help speed up the process of drawing a red. Oh, it's running out of red. Oh, that sucks. Cool effect though. But though we're gonna we're gonna use every little bit of red in here. Can I do spider punk? Definitely, I could definitely do spider punk. That's actually another really good idea. I'll add that to the list of. Uh, Let's add that to the list of designs to do. Got so many red pens in front of me, I'm not sure which one is which anymore. Draw my logo in your style. Can it? I'm sure it'll be dope. Too bad I can't see it. Reno says, looking forward to seeing the spider punk. Yeah, spider punk's a good idea. I actually just saw the movie the other day. I thought it was cool. I liked it. I didn't know it was going to be part one of a two-part movie. I didn't realize that. That caught me for a loop. Spoiler alert, by the way. Well, I didn't really say what happened, but just know it was a part two. I think we all know that by now. So once I get all this red done, then I also gotta do his arm too. Because I'm lefty, I'm gonna turn this upside down. Um, yeah, I think part two sucks considering I'm a Spider-Man fan. If you, if you could, couldn't talk. Um, trying to figure how I could talk about this and not spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. Well, I didn't see it coming. The way they set it up, I'll, I'll definitely say that. But I'm interested to see what they do. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for them to drop part three. You know? Talking about Spider-Man, I heard Madam Web was terrible. Has anybody seen that? I'm curious. Is it like, is it just hype? Is, is it just people just trying to have a hot clip and say it's bad? Is it really like a really terrible movie? I am too cheap to spend my money to find out, to be honest with you. I could definitely wait for it to come to TV or wherever it comes to.
All right, guys, we're almost there. Talking about movie, a type of movie I am excited to see the um, the new Deadpool movie with Wolverine. I personally think if I was Disney, I would forget all the superhero movies and just say, you know what, we got to bring the X Men out, and all will be forgiven. That's what I think. I think adding Wolverine, Cyclops, Professor X, X and friends, all will be forgiven. And they can't think of a supervillain throwing an apocalypse. That's what I would do if it was me, though. I mean, they already added Spider Man, and that was apparently a hassle to do. So why not throw in some, throw in some old man Logan? All right, so far not too bad, not too bad. Draw Silver Surfer doing tricks on the board. Silver Surfer's dope. I, I don't know why they haven't added him to the movies yet or, or why they made him such a non-important character. So hopefully with X-Men, they bring him back also. And, and what about uh, a Doctor Doom design would be dope too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that either. As far as villains go, I don't know. There's so many ways they can go with it. I don't know what's going on. I tell you what, they're not going the right direction. I know that much. All right, all right, all right. And now I just gotta make sure I don't, there you go. All right, so what I do is do this part right here, the red there. Go over some of these white spots and then we'll be on our way. And then we'll be well on our way. Uh, everyone tell your family to watch this video. Hey, look, listen to Jacob. I think he has a good point. But no, seriously, everybody's here. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. So far, we are almost done with Peyton Knuckles' body. So thank you for your patience. Just want to make sure this is done the right way so I don't have to go back and do anything. How are we looking so far? Not bad, not bad. Go ahead and draw his color in his arm. And now the real question is, what color I'm gonna to use to shade in his body? You know what? I'm actually thinking about maybe adding some yellow. Why not? For the highlights? Why not add some yellow for the highlights? Um, a dark red. I agree. I think a dark red's a good idea. Let's have like a, almost like a purple red. So I'm probably gonna go with that. Perfect. All right. 
Not too bad, not too shabby. Not too bad, not too shabby. Julie, what is good? Kaylee, what is good? Says, hi, what's going on? Jaden says, what should we order? You should probably order, which is actually a good point for me to bring up. That, by the way, this is sponsored by the Blueprint Sketchbook made by me. Just so you know, all the paper I'm using for my drawings is all done with the Blueprint Sketchbook, which I've designed so people can draw and paint their designs with Posca markers and things like that. So thank you guys so much. With that being said, with that being said, back to the drawing. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna paint, I keep saying draw, I mean paint. I'm now gonna paint with, if you were curious what color I'm using, you guys cannot see if I'm using a fuchsia. So now I'm going to, so now I'm gonna do the shadowing. So for this, like for example, I'm gonna pretend like the lighting's coming this way, hit them in the face. So like anything underneath here is all gonna be shadowed. So things underneath, uh, so places underneath his eyes, anything underneath where the sun would be hitting. So for example, um, right here is where the shadowing would be for his hair. So I'm gonna color in right here. And what I'll do is after I color this in, I'll show you how I map out all the shading. Um, Reno says, y'all got us, uh, Emma, shout out to Emma. Tasha says, better, thank you so much. Uh, Mc So there you go. So like I said, so you guys can see the shading. So I'm gonna do the same thing for his entire body. So for example, um, so underneath his neck. So what I do is I, I'll just go over anything, kind of just mark it off so I know. And then right over here, I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Now let's mark it off just like that so I know to go back. And then from here, I'll continue marking it off right where his arms are. So anything on this side I know is where I want to, you know, do the shadowing. And what's good about it is the more shadowing I put, the more pop it's gonna give to the design, which is pretty dope. Uh so the tip, the paper, I have no idea what you're talking about, but feel free to ask again. But with the paper that I'm using, it's a heavier paper. So it can handle the Pasca paint, which is nice. And then like I said right here, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add the shading. And then what I'm gonna do is also is just continue to do the same thing. So over here in the beginning would be the highlights. Like I said, un anything underneath would be for the shading. So for right here, that would be shaded. Right, I'll do the same thing over here. And then I'll probably make some sh little line right here. Some more over here. And pretty much I'm just going through this entire thing, trying to look to areas. So for example, like uh, maybe not here, but over here. And right here's a good place to add some shading. Hey, Justin, art editor said I gained a new subscriber. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then what I do is like right here, add it right, right underneath is here. 
And what's cool about this is if I'm adding the shading in the right spots, it would give more attention to other parts of his body. Just because he's so red. How I place the colors is super important. That is right, Reno. We are not done. We're close. By the way, for the people who are here, shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys could do me a small favor, if you can go to the right-hand corner, click those three buttons, and hit the like button. If you like what you see, it would mean the world. YouTube will push this out to more people. And when this video is done, more people will see it. The goal today is can we can we reach 100? Can we reach 100 likes? I think it's possible, but you know, I'm definitely going to need your help. You dare me to throw it away? Don't dare me. Let's see if this pen works better. A little bit. Cool. All right. So other place where I'll add the shadowing. Right here. A little bit on the face. Just a little bit, not too much. Then, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to add some more on the back of his hair. So right about, right about here. Starting to come together, starting to come together. Who knows, maybe one of these days I'll do a giveaway and I'll give away the painting. Drop in the comments if you think I should do a giveaway of my, one of my paintings that I do on live. How about this? We hit 500 likes, I will, I will give this away. I will give this painting. I'll mail it straight to one random person. We hit 500 likes. So now it's on you guys. By the way, only if you're in the US though. I don't wanna be sending it to like the other side of the country. Of course, me an arm and a leg. I love you guys and all, but you know, I can't, I can't go broke to send this out for free. You know what I mean? Draw, draw who? From Moana? No what? I've never seen that movie Moana, to be honest with you. I know it's a big movie, but I haven't seen it. Hate to be the guy to say that, but I have not seen it. Um, we're gonna draw the face, let's go do that. So we're gonna draw the face. That's the next thing we're gonna do. Um, but first I gotta figure out how I'm gonna shade his face. Perfect. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and while things dry, this is coming in. We're gonna do this right here. We're gonna do some shading for his gloves. I like to use blues when it comes to shading on white. Uh, let's see. I personally think blue gives it like, you know, a nice little pop. I mean, I could use gray, but you know, I think this looks a little bit more fun. And then right here, we're just gonna one spike. And we're also gonna do this spike right here. Just gonna shade this a little bit inside of his hand. Then we're just gonna do this inside part of his hand too. Boom. See, little hints of blues. Thank you. Reno says the blue is better than the gray. I mean, gray works, but I feel like blue gives a little, gives a different kind of pop. Then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do do the spikes, then we're gonna go ahead, call in the inside of his palm. Then we're gonna do the other inside of his palm. And we cannot forget about, we can't forget about his thumb. Oh, I just realized I forgot his other arm. That's all good though. We're gonna get it right about now. Then we're just gonna, right here, close it out. And then we're just gonna make this part, so like a little bit of blue here. Now we're also gonna add some blue in the eyes right here. We're gonna do the same right here. And this would be the shading for the eyes. I have no idea what, what color I'm for, gonna do for the, his pupils. So I'm gonna do a little underneath here. A little bit in there that we're also going to do inside of his mouth. Not going to lie, kind of tempted to give him a gold tooth, but you know, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. All right. All right. So as that dries, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, we're going to do beige. Yes, yeah, a good color here. I think the beige works. What do you guys think? And by the way, if you guys have any art questions, please, please feel free to ask away. 
I get questions all the time on my videos and sometimes I can't get to all of them. So if you ask now, it would definitely be easier for me to answer. Now the question is, what color am I gonna use for the shadowing? Um, time says, can you get Pasca, can I get Pasca nibs? Someone tried priming mine with a cap off and I lost a nib? I don't know, that's a good question. I don't know if you could buy new nibs. That's a, that is a good question, actually. When I go to my art store, I'm gonna ask them, but as far as I know, I'm gonna say I doubt it. I don't think they sell them individually. They also don't sell like any packs for you to refill it. So what that says to me is they probably don't sell nibs. But I could be wrong, though. I don't know. That's definitely, uh, we got to go on the website and go on the website and see if that's something that they do. But I would be shocked, though, just because, like, they don't have refills, they don't really have replacements or anything like that. So I would guess probably not. But that sucks, though. I'm sorry to hear that. You could always take a nib maybe from a color you don't use. That's what I would do. I've done that before. Let's say it's like a, a dead color or a color that's like has more paint in it. Maybe you could wash off that nib and then you could use it. How many Poscas do I have? Joji wants to know. I have a lot. I have a lot. Oh, Posca sent me a few over Christmas. God bless him. So that definitely helps. Oh, no, I forgot to do. I forgot to put red here and I forgot to put. So I'm gonna actually. There you go. How many pockets do I have? I don't know, maybe close to 100? Way too many. I definitely have way too many. Um, what color do I want to do next? Let me see. I think I should. Hmm. Continue doing a red? Probably. Would be the right idea. And I can do the face. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll do some highlights. That's not good. 
I do have to do his arm. Thank you for thank you for saying that. Thank you for the reminder. I'm drawing everything but his arm, right? Drawing everything but the man's arm. 